Now, bend down your operator. Have no fear, fellow citizens. The mediator is here. Good morning and many blessings to you headed into the new year. Welcome to this week's edition of The Mediator with me, your host, Brian West, here to give you the top eight headlines and developing news stories that have made it this week. Now, as usual, I'll give you the top eight local headlines and developing news stories that have made it first, followed by a movie clip, a skit, a trailer, something that's going on in the community, maybe some pictures, and then I'll give you the top eight international headlines and developing news stories that have made it this week. So let's waste no time. We're headed into the new year. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-wee! Let's get to it. Story number one, there will be more local entertainers searching for an audience in 2021. Guaranteed, local entertainment venues headed into 2021 will also be looking for more help. The industry itself has seen massive cuts across the board, and that includes actors' pay as well. Now, inside of this story, the ripple effect inside of the local entertainment economy has also been felt at the Dior Center. They've had to somewhat merge with Stambaugh to stay afloat. Now, this includes uh, losses for the Youngstown Symphony Society, Also, the loss of board members and hardly no income to account for uh, these losses outside of the government help and grant money. So without any shows, they haven't been able to get paid. The picture may be crooked now, but in 2021, entertainers will be defying gravity just to hold an audience, the the audience's attention with the big gap throughout this year. Uh, So we'll see how this story develops, especially locally. Big, big headline. Story number two. Remember those flooding stories in Borman in 2020? Well, Borman flood stories made more headlines in 2020, resulting in funds being secured to assist the public. Uh, The main talking point inside of this flooding story is how do you prevent or how do we prevent this from happening again in the future? So that's what that'll be another uh, checking thing to check off on the list in 2021 is uh, will Borman have what it takes to stop any more flooding in 2021 big big headline that's why I made it this week story number three how serious is house bill six house bill six clears payments of about one billion dollars in subsidies to energy companies the bill includes nuclear and solar power payments over a period of years paid by Ohio taxpayers the bill caught the attention of lawmakers and political gurus after Larry Householder got accused of being involved in a $60 million bribery scheme involving House Bill 6. The seriousness about this bill asks the question of can energy companies uphold facilities and service services without subsidies from the government? And will they be able to survive? Now, in this developing story, Ohioans will be searching for more details on what ifs, the what if statements, like what if the bills that we pay are not enough to uphold the energy facilities in Ohio and another bailout option is considered or what happens if the nuclear facilities uh, closes how much will it cost to shut them down or or you know because nuclear facilities are not easy uh, to close because it takes you had to be qualified to handle the hazardous material this story is still developing that's why I made it this week. story number four what will Ohio's economy look like post COVID-19 the aftermath Governor DeWine pointed out some positive in the economic future of Ohio he pointed out the evolution of GM and other companies doing business in Ohio he also pointed out what PPP loans have done to some uh, so to save some businesses but the COVID-19 but co- with COVID-19 still lingering around and many businesses holding on by a thread financially it will take a lot to recover economically in 2021 it, now this is uh, it will even take a lot to recover until this hype surrounding COVID-19 dies down story number four is still developing big big hell story number five the petition to set aside more funds for Ohio's kids one local story that's still out is an outreach of a group seeking help for kids the story points out seven key issues infant and maternal mortality summer food access 
the Earned Income Tax Credit, Child-Led Exposure Prevention, Equal Access to Child Care and Preschool. School funding and broadband internet accessibility is also on the list. The local Vindicator article also highlights key stats in each ethnic group, but is stressing the importance of more investments into the future of child development. Story number five is still invest is still not only being thought about invested in, but it's still developing because we need to invest in the future. Big, big headline. Story number six, COVID-19 is costing the state a lot of money and causing unexpected cuts. The state spent about $55 million on gowns, $16 million on ventilators and accessories, $12 million on masks, $8 million on respirators, $5.5 million on gloves, and $625,000 on face shields. And people are still wondering where their paycheck is going to come from next month. The state also had to buy things like thermometers, sanitizer wipes, uh, shoe covers and coveralls. Did I mention sanitizer? Businesses have also had to spend large chunks of cash, to, not only on their own PPP loans, but uh, but to, to get their PPP protective equipment, PPE and all that other accurate but this is all happening now and the sad truth about the story is that there have been cuts across the board to pay for all of this protective equipment including education cuts story number six almost made it to the top two this week because it deals with money that we are claiming not to have big big headline big big developing news story number seven in the top two local headlines and developing news stories that made it this week small businesses will be looking for more help in 2021 in 2020, if you got out of a pit, COVID-19 knocked you right back in. Uh, 2021 will be no different because everyone and every business will be searching for a fix. Uh, the small business community had already been upended by online retail. Then many had to use online retail just to survive. COVID-19 changed business models across across a lot of sectors. And in 2021, will be trending. Everybody will probably not only be uh, looking for some help and these stories will probably be trending but they'll be treading water hoping for a lifeline many businesses are already drowning in debt the story is still developing that's why it made it to the top two this week headed into the new year story number eight and the top local headline of 2020 the last one big big headline the local drug and COVID-19 battle continues into 2021. There are a few key local goals headed into 2021, and that is getting a grip on the drug war and getting control of the spread of COVID-19. The drug war has crippled families and destroyed countless lives in the process, and an ongoing challenge to keep the local market uh, uh, system intact it is fitting that this story leads us into the new year. Big, big headlines headed into 2021 and a lot to look look forward to to improved. Those are our top eight local headlines that made it this week. I'll be right back. I'm going to take a quick break with the top eight. It's, I'll be right back with the top eight international headlines and developing news stories. So don't go anywhere. You're the mediator with me, Brian West. I'll be right back. Have no fear, fellow citizens. The teenager is here. If you want to check out the stories that almost made it in or did make it in, go to our Twitter feed on our website. Check out everything. All of the sources are there. If you go to the website, it's M-E-T-H-O-D, the number eight, I-N-C.com, method8inc.com, where you can buy something, click on something, watch something, read something, or just sponsor the program. 